Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails in the Sky. Last time we ended it with finding the combustible engine and the fuel. And with slight little hope that we might be able to see what's inside the Black Orphan. But that's gonna be uh, a thing for Professor Russell to do. We're just here to gather up the stuff for his experiment, so let's give it to him and see where we'll end up. We're back. And we've brought what you asked for. Excellent. Thank you. Handed over the engine and the gasoline. You weren't kidding about how heavy this thing is. Yes, your brute strength was most useful, girl. Perfect timing, too, as I've just finished preparing the tools. All that's left is to set up the engine and put gas in it. Uh, if you go and put on the finished touching touches, Tita? Yes, sir. Really, and the thing that they're trying to do, if I get it right, is because the device activates when orbment energy is basically in the area. They want to try to use something that doesn't use orbital energy, like a... Uh, I, I think it's going to be like a welding tool and just focus fire straight on it. So it has nothing to react to and hopefully that will help us get a look inside, but yeah. Alright. And all is set. Wow, this thing really is clunky looking. Are all of these engines like this? Yeah. It converts the energy given by the burning gas to power the tools. So this way they don't need orbital energy. Indeed. Now let's not dull. Let me flip the switch. And click. Jeez, this thing sure makes a racket. It's definitely a lot louder than the orbital engines. That's one of the drawbacks, yes. But I doubt we need to fear activating the Black Orbman this way. Let's get started. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That's some serious parking. Okay, shut it down for now. We've seen uh, how much physical punishment they can take and how much punishment our ears can take as well. Estelle and the others crowded around to get a closer look. A tiny scratch is faintly visible. That... that's it? That's incredible! And with a special LO saw... Tui! Whatever it's made of, it's tougher than anything I've ever seen. But if we keep at it, I believe this would work. We're going to go through quite a few saw blades though. So, it's going to be a real test of patience then. Hey professor, can I talk to you for a second? Ah, have you already finished the modifications? Of course I have. Remember who you are talking to. Anyway, what is it? Is something wrong? Well, I just received a message from the hotel in Elmo for you. The orbital powered pump that supplies the hot water for their spa has broken down. Since they can't make any money like this, they'd like for you to come and try and fix it. Ah, you must be kidding. Damn it. Of all the times for this to happen. If you're that busy, then why don't you send another engineer over? No, that pile of junk is at least 40 years old. The younger techs have no idea what to do with it. Anything that's not state of the art. Err, what a pain in the... Uh, Grandpa, maybe I could go over and do the repairs, you think? Hmm? Tita? You took me there to help with maintenance before. I think I'll be fine if I just go. Hmm, I'm sure you do a fine job on the repairs. That's not what concerns me. Agreed, there are monsters out on the roads. But we can't leave Mrs. Mao like this. If that's the problem, then why don't you let us handle this? Hmm? It's a brazier's duty to ensure the safety of Liberal's roadway. Therefore, seeing that Tita arrives at her destination safely is our responsibility. Well, that's another story. If you're all with her, then we don't need to worry. Ah, uh, alright then. Thank you. Are you sure this is okay? Don't worry about it. Kids shouldn't sweat the details so much. If you're ready, then let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both. Uh, okay, Grandpa, Mr. Murdoch, we'll be back soon. Take care, dear. Be careful out there. 
Ah, she's with us, so what's to worry? And they will take us back to Elmo Village, where we need to be for our Librarian Plus side quest. So everything is coming together. I do want to check out the Brazen Guild to see if we have any extra side quests that we might want to do first. But the fact that we are going to Elmo Village is more than fine by me, because uh, like I said, last time I was suspecting that we needed to be in Elmo Village to find that statue in the pond. And of course, we got a comment about it in uh, under the video too, confirming my suspicion, so thank you for that. So we are going to look once we get to Elmo Village. Very well then, I'll leave Tita in your capable hands. Tita, be careful out there. Out there. Thanks in advance. As long as you get there, Tita can do all the work. Good luck. Yeah, she's personally trained by the professor. So if anyone can do it, it's probably her. We've said that. The gun was not hers. Oh no, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay. Yeah, because we did find something along the uh, way. I wanted to check that. So you can have one of our battle suits for now. Mm, do want to give her the dead blow and um, the anti-stone as well. Petrify, that's the word I was looking for. I think we do, we just don't have a lot of money for it. So I'm thinking about giving her some alternative stuff, like uh, sleep and confuse, at least for now. Oh no, long cannon. <laughs> Give us uh, some extra range for the orbital guns and cannons, then making her basically be able to shoot anywhere on uh, the field. I don't like that. All right. So. Ooh, so, Elmo, sounds kind of fun. There's a hot spring there, right? <laughs> right, it's a really nice place. My grandpa's taken me there a few times. Well then, let's uh, set out. Let's go out the uh, south entrance, right? <laughs> right, then follow along the south road to get there. Okay, let's get going. And of course, we've already been there. I think there is one more chest we can still get there that was surrounded by fluffy animals, so... If we are going that direction, you might as well try to take them down as well. I need to report. And a whole shit ton of extra quests, okay. Uh, product testing. Tested for a new sneaker model wanted. Any braces involved in a wide range of activities are welcome. If you think your legs are up for the task, come to the library on the fourth floor uh, for the central factory. Yes, so we want to do that because it's all short. A haulage vehicle headed to the Wolf Fort hasn't arrived yet, but it's supposed to ages ago. A brazer from this branch is serving as its escort, but I fear they may have run into trouble. Please, search, search the Tread Plains Road for them. Okay, so that's already out there. Basically, same as Extermination Quest. And now we need to find a person instead of the monster. Uh, I'm looking for a powerful ingredient to be used in a new menu item currently under consideration at the Forgold Bar. Anyone with appropriate time on hand, please bring them to me. I'm not extremely busy, however, so please do not seek me out for details or clarification. We need clarification. You just bring me the powerful item. It doesn't say what it is, right? Hmm. It appears that someone has filled some cigarettes that were being stored in the cabinet in the clinic. Please, find the dirty crook who did this ASAP. Come see me on the fourth floor at the clinic for witness info and possible suspects. And a Ritter Road Monster. A roadless monster known as a Mercury Viper has been spotted roving the Ritter Roadway. Praises from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Alright, so we want to do all these quests before going to Elmo Village. Especially a short one because I do think that being Elmo Village 
will set the story by forward by one tick and that means the short ones will then be failed so we definitely need to do those at least so we're gonna go to the fourth floor of the factory in order to talk to the product tester and of course the clinic and for this we just need to search the trade planes road but first let's talk to these two just so we know what uh, is going on with them and i do want to go to forgal bard to talk to anybody to get a hint on what it actually is that they want Show ingredients. Ah, hello there. Do you have a minute? We saw the posting on the bulletin board and brought some ingredients. Please, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. May I see that tomato for a moment? Ah, acerbic tomato. It smells nothing like a regular tomato. Much stronger than I'm used to. Let me try it. Ah, blah, 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 blah. What is this? It's terrible. My taste buds have been violated. See, it's just gross. It will be good for research, but I can't see anyone wanting to eat it. Hmm, well, it sure can be eaten as is, but it certainly has an interesting flavor and scent. With the right preparation, I could be a useful ingredient for cooking. Maybe. Doesn't it worry you to eat something that nasty? Oh no, I found that strongly bitter foods tend to be very good for one's health, when they don't kill you anyway. And traditional Cistian cooking calls for some very strong ingredients. Hmm, I'm not sure I want to try that. <laughs> ah, there, that should be just the right level of bitter to nicely complement the dish. Here, you can be the first to try out my newest dish. Consider it my thanks for introducing me to such an amazing food. Tomato sandwich. <laughs> I think I'll just save this for later. Now I need to get back uh, to work. Thanks for everything today. Okay, see you later. Excuse us. Potent ingredient completed. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Not that I'm complaining. Ah, uh, so we got a tomato sandwich. Is that a new one or an old one? It should be a new one, because it has new ingredients, right? <laughs> Bitter assault on the tongue, favored by adults. Resource 40 CP, not bad. Yes, new recipe, good. Oh, it does seem that Tita doesn't have a lot of HP. Does she actually have something on her list? Yes. Slot is sealed, so we do want to get those opened. She got an EP cut, she got extra movement, defense, and hit. Not bad. But we definitely want those two extra slots so we can give her some extra HP at least. Because 400, that is half of what the others have, so we really want to increase that. Let's have a small check on that and then we're gonna go on to the fourth floor and talk to well basically the two scientists that has a request for us ah see the customer over there he's what you might call a layman no orbit knowledge whatsoever you think i should try to explain how they work hmm not a good idea you probably just start moaning and groaning and such I'm so confused. All I did was ask for a heating ornament and they hand me this telephone book. All these different models, I don't have a clue where I should start looking. Yeah, he knows too little. Mm, space quartz only. Uh huh. Right, so she has two slots in there. And we definitely, we would like an HP 3, that would be amazing, because that would give her 15% extra HP, that would be really nice. So let's just put something in there just to have it filled, space quartz only, 
And the only one we have is range. For, and look, there's only four parts. Let's just put it in there for now. Uh, we are gonna switch it up later just for something else. And this will give her 60 HP, which is not a lot. Giving us heal and aqua bleed. It is nice to have to counteract the stone movements, but what else can we get if we put it in there? <laughs> Blind. Hmm. Ooh, this one is uh, interesting. HP slowly recovers by walking. Where do we get this one? I like it, but I like it too much. I want to give this to Joshua Arstel, depending on who needs it the most. Mm. Yeah, but like I said, later on in Zeiss, before we leave at least, when we get it up a lot more Sepith, we're gonna set up uh, Estelle and Joshua at least with some better uh, Orpen placement. So we can just go on really focused on high level magic. Mm, for now, let's give her an HP 2. Yeah, this should be good enough. And one. Yeah. I think we lost saw this one uh, cat at the airliners. I swear, this time you're not getting away. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Miriam. Oh, good afternoon. Oh my, so many of you. Yeah, we saw your posting on the bulletin board. I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. And I'm Joshua, also a Junior Bracer. We heard that there might be a case for us here. Oh yes, I'd certainly say so. Uh, if you can, it'd be ideal if you started your investigation at once. Do you think that would be possible? Yes. Okay then. I know this is urgent, but can you provide us with any more details? Well, it's not a complicated tale to tell. Someone took the cigarettes that were in this cabinet. This is a medical office, so why would you even have cigarettes here? Under my supervision, this factory has observed a no smoking policy for the last several years. Any confiscated tobacco is kept in here. Which would mean that anyone who had anything confiscated is immediately a suspect. Since what was taken probably belongs to that individual to begin with. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm inclined to agree. I took so much work to get the smoking ban established. If I just let this go, it will completely undermine the entire policy. First of all, we should talk to the people that were smokers to begin with. Would you happen to know who that might be? My first suggestion would be Supervisor Travis from Operations. He's always been a heavy smoker. Plus, he's never really accepted the ban, so I'd say he's got the motive. Hmm, okay, sounds like a good place to start. So, I'll make note of it. There's also Hugo in the design room. I think he's currently arranging a meeting in the first floor lobby. The people who've worked here the longest tend to be smokers. Ah, okay. So, there's Travis from Operations Room? And you go on the first floor. Is there anything else you can tell us? If not, we can go ahead and get started. Well, I don't know if it will be of any use to you, but there was an eyewitness. Hmm? Oh yeah, that might be a lead. And who was the eyewitness? He's right behind you. Antoine? <laughs> the perfect witness. Can see anything, but just doesn't know how to say it. Cat? I did say it wasn't sure it would actually help. That you did. <laughs> but Antoine's a really smart cat. He might remember who took the cigarettes. Indeed, if you bring him along in your search, he might provide you with a useful clue. He may not have a good sense of smell as a dog, but it's still quite impressive. <laughs> That's the hope anyway. If you bring along some fresh milk, I'm sure I'll be more than happy to follow you. In line of the lack of any other clues, I'd like to try. Sure, can't hurt. If you find anything of note, we'll be back to let you know. I'll be waiting. Whoever did this must absolutely be caught. It's 
so we need some fresh milk. Let me guess, we have mum in our list. And I'm pretty sure if we need it for this quest, even if it's just an option, the store in town should be able to get it, so... Let's see if they have it. Still the issue we have, it is. And if there's no fresh milk then, ah, there it is. Let's get a bunch. All right. My wife Ada gets such a stiff neck sometimes. She went to the church to get some medicine. I know they're researching medicine at the central factory as well, but they still have nothing on the traditional memories. There, perfect. It's fine as it is. Sorting goods for daddy. Alright, let's get back. And give Antoine the fresh milk, and <laughs> definitely. Here you go Antoine, some nummy milk. And now it's part of our team, yes. Let's never leave him. Come back to the first floor, because we know it's definitely there. I'm so confused. All I did was ask for a heating orb and uh, he handed me this telephone book. All these bottles, I have no clue where I should start looking. I thought that they said it was on the first floor. It isn't... Oh, hello, Tina. I heard about what happened uh, at the inn in, El uh, in Elmo from the factory chief. You're going to Elmo, I hear? That's right. I've held there before, so it makes sense that I go. We are also responsible to protect you on your trip. We will see you there safely. I've already contacted the Bracer Guild. Please see to it that Tita arrives safely in Elmo. And <laughs> no worries. Shall we go then? Ah, probably one of these guys. What? Are you serious? One of the researchers on the Orbital Engine project quit. Yes, we thought we had talked to him into reconsidering. But apparently there were circumstances. His official resignation notice came today. I see, this is a problem. This whole project was to be for the RC. If we can't get this started, our hopes of actually using the RC are finished. I know, I know. We can't keep the old model engine in the RC. And I understand how quickly we need to find a replacement. But we should look uh, at it as a chance to get a fresh point of view on the project. Hmm, what is it? Oh, sorry, but I'm in the middle of something important. Come back later if you need me. Hmm, I don't get the feeling that he particularly wants to be questioned. Oh yeah, any reaction out of Antoine? No? <laughs> Nothing. So, it's probably the guy in the operations room, so... I can't remember what floor it is, so let's check out all the rooms. Straight to the right place. Oh, hello again. Did you find what you were looking for? Oh, yeah, we did. We're just looking for something different now. Different? Uh, yes, some cigarettes were taken from the clinic. Ah, someone actually did that. I imagine you're being kept pretty busy. Have you been to the clinic at any time today? Oh no, I haven't. I've been here all day. You're welcome to search the room if you want. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem suspicious. Yeah, I think uh, he's a dead end. Well, am I still under suspicion? Oh, right. What do you think, Antoine? No reaction. So much for that then. Oh, sorry to have taken up your time. We appreciate your future co cooperation with our investigation. Oh, sure, no problem. Hmm, no response on either one, which means no lead. At this rate, we'll just have to keep searching the factory. There may be some kind of clue here, like Dr. Miriam said. Hmm, not like we have much choice in the matter. So, if there's anything we interact with, right? <laughs> I 
Send the factory. Where are the cigarettes? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think uh, it will be in here, is it? And we didn't get any reaction anywhere, so it's not like there are any cigarettes on the ground or anything. As an indicator of someone being very naughty with their cigarettes. So maybe go to all the different floors, talk to people, see if the cat will react to it. That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. And let's uh, skip the fourth floor, seeing as we have another quest on for fourth floor as well. Hmm, according to this data, I have no doubt that during the blackout all ornaments suddenly and utterly cease activity. Hmm, I think we should compact the barrel more. We're not talking full advantage of the orbital uh, pressure threshold. Yes sir, that's true. But uh, won't doing so make the overall unit uh, too top heavy? I believe this configuration is better given to its current housing and balance. That may be true, but it's not part of my design philosophy. I'm trying to maximize output with our technical limits. Yes sir. It's just... Shouldn't we also factor usability in our design? That lowers efficiency. Louise, we need you to start pushing limits more than like a proper engineer. Yes, sir. Well, she isn't uh, wrong. If you can't use it, it doesn't matter how powerful you make it. Alright, he's still busy with that and I don't think he smokes actually. Efficient uh, effectiveness was directly related to the orbital shutdown. I believe that when the orbit shut down, it was able to do a complete reset. We could use that as a new maintenance technique. Uh, that's uh, an engineer for you. Always trying to, uh, let us say, find improvements in the nor 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 normal things. Yes, the shelf holds a book entitled Kitty Talk for Dummies. Uh, this is it, an expression of delight. Hold up, and the urge is a uh, <laughs> caution. This way. You're absolutely right. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can actually translate everything uh, it's saying. Uh, cancel it, we don't need it. We're just looking for cigarettes. Where did they stash it? Oh, that's the infamous Wilmot from Operation. I've never seen uh, him uh, before. He doesn't look like much, does he? You know, he looks like the kind of guy who's always washing his hands and stuff. It might be. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Ah, we got a reaction. Hmm? Does anything seem strange about this door to you? This room is... Yeah, unlikely, but let's head in to uh, make sure. Alright. <laughs> hmm, uh, what's wrong? Ah, and one. Why are you so fussy? Hmm, what is this? Looks like we found the culprit. Yeah. Hmm? What are you talking about? Mr. Murdoch, you went to the clinic today, didn't you? Hmm? Uh, no, I didn't. We're currently looking for cigarettes that were taken from there. Would you mind if we search this room for a bit? Uh, sure. Uh, go ahead. Okay, we'll start immediately. Let's find the doobies. He 
He's hiding it in there. In there? Let's try to find a key. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Sure thing. I examined the book on the desk. Found the back room key. Alright. Look at that, an ashtray. And the cigarettes. <laughs> Found them. Which would still mean... No, Mr. Murdoch couldn't have. Well, it's a shock, that's for sure. He wouldn't have suspected. No, 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 you got it all wrong. This is all just one big misunderstanding. I was just going to take one quick puff and then... Put the rest of them right back into the clinic. <laughs> Spoken like a true addicted personality. You can't just stop at one. Come on, be honest. Ah, Chief Murdoch. I think you ought to come and explain this to Dr. Miriam. I have to say, I'm simply amazed. I never would have suspected you, of all people. I I'm sorry. I just needed a smoke. I can't really explain it any other way than saying that the craving got the better of me. Dr. Mirian, I'm really sorry. Mr. Murdoch, you know perfectly well that the rule has been in place for quite some time. You're right. Coming up uh, on 10 years now. Hmm? Oh yeah. So where did this sudden uncontrollable urge come from then? Honestly, I'm not so sure myself. After we had that horrible power outage, I've heard no end of complaints from the town folks. I guess that it just got to be too much and I needed a smoke to help cool me down. <sighs> Mr. Murdoch, I'm sorry. This is all because of what Grandpa and I did. Oh, no, 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 Tita. You haven't done anything wrong, so don't apologize. This doesn't really even have anything to do with the professor. Maybe you should take a little break or something? It seems to me that this was all because of too much stress. You do understand your situation, Mr. Murdoch. I think that I'm willing to forgive and forget in this case. What? Really? Instead, I'm going to insist that you take a decent break. You're just going to ruin your health if you go on like this. You're right. Once things settle down a little bit, I plan on using some of my vacation time. I'm still sorry for all this whole mess though. It's on the water under bridge. You need to focus on your health. I will. I guess I'll be going now. Phew, that's kinda sad. It's not like he was trying to cause any trouble or anything. Be that as it may, the factory is still his responsibility. Well, that much is true. Now, I really must thank you all. You've handled this case brilliantly. You're welcome. I think half the credit has to go to Antoine, though. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm glad my suggestion bore fruit. I trust you'll be nice to him if you should meet him again. Of course. Well, thank you again for your help. I will certainly call upon you again. Should another incident arise. Glad to help. I think we'll be on our way then. See you later then. Yes, no more smokers. Aw, I wish we could give him some extra milk for a job good done. Did a very good job uh, as a small little kitten. Alright, I'm gonna talk to the guy about sneakers. Since we are in the neighborhood. Hmm, what is it? If you're looking for Ray, he's out to lunch. Oh, no, no. We checked out the bulletin board and... Ah, oh, I see. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. My name's Terry. I'm a researcher here at the Central Factory. I'm Estelle Bracer in training. I'm Joshua. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Getting straight to business. I have a task for you. Do your schedules allow for it? Yes. Oh, sure. I don't see a problem with it. The request said you needed help with testing a new style of sneaker. Could you give us a little more details? Oh, certainly. But first, here. Received Alpha, Strega. Is this your new kind of sneaker? Yes, the Strega Corporation is conducting research on new projects to bring to market. This particular test requires you to wear these prototypes around to various places. Upon the successful completion of the test, all that will remain is to put them into production. Oh, I see. Hey, t just a second there, buddy. Did you just say the Strega Corporation? Hmm? 
Oh, yes. So then this new line of sneakers. Yes, it's the Stragas Corporation newest product. Didn't I just say all of this? <gasps> oh, great ideas. Thank you for bestowing upon me, uh, us, this magnificent job. Are you alright? Why a sudden prayer? Uh, don't mind her. She is a humongous fan. <laughs> Still something of a sneaker collector. More to the point, she's pretty much adores the Strecker brand once. Oh, I get it now. Ah, so you maybe say she has a sneaker mania then. I was a little taken aback by her reaction. Estelle, would you snap out of it? I get that you're excited, but we have work to do. <laughs> uh, yes, you are correct. Well, you certainly have spirit. A scary amount, in fact. So, will you do the test? Please don't pray at me again. Yes, absolutely. See what I mean? <laughs> it's alright, please proceed. So, we'll take on the job. But you want us to wear these shoes everywhere we go? Uh, yes, that's correct. From Elmo Spa to Wolford, all the way to Sanctum Gate. And where you feel you've tested them out properly, bring them back to me. The layer between the sole and insole is my responsibility, so I have to see how it holds up. So, you need us to report back when we have the chance. Uh, uh, that at least. Now, see if you can wear them out. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Uh, if you excuse us. Alright, so let's wear them. I wonder if they're better than what I have. Alpha Strega. No, of course not. <laughs> but we need to wear them for the quest, so that's uh, something we can't not do. So he says, go to the fort, uh, go to Elmo Village, and to whatever place we can, just to walk in these shoes. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, since we have, next time, we still have one monster that we need to find to defeat. We have a hauler that we need to find. Probably also with monsters. Uh, next time we're gonna do those two side quests as well. After that we're gonna bring the quest back to the Brazen Guild and report them. And in between the episodes I might take a walk to the fortress and everywhere we can. But not Elmo Village. And I wanna see if we went everywhere but Elmo Village. We can give it back to him. And of course to see if there is any reaction by wearing these shoes in those new regions in order to see if it ticks off the list or something like that. So, but that's gonna be next time. For now, we're gonna leave it here. And like I said, we are gonna go to Elmo Village, so the side quest with the book we can definitely do when we get there. But for now, let's take it easy. So, uh, until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.